This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Says the Ramble. Therefore, it must be Alex with the Ramble. We go here until midnight tonight. And uh, thanks for joining us once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we uh, do another edition of this uh, little thing we do, which is totally frustration. Uh, I, uh, I'm starting off the show differently tonight than I normally do. Normally, I play an interview with somebody or whatever because I'm lazy and I only want to do an hour's worth of programming. But seeing as this is the last show of the year, because starting tomorrow we take a week off and we won't be back until uh, after the new year. After, uh, let's see here, what, what day are we back? We're back well, We're back with our Monday show on the 3rd and then we'll be back here on the 5th, okay? Uh, if all goes well and I feel like I want to do it. Uh, <laughs> Um, but I thought I would spend uh, the uh, last show of the year just do, doing what I used to do, which is talk for a little bit. And I just don't, I, you know, the reason I don't talk that much, you know, I used to do these rants that went on for like, I don't know, a half hour at a time before I got to the callers. And um, uh, then I replaced those with the interviews I was doing because I was getting to feel as though I didn't have that same ability I once had. You know, you could just hand me a microphone and say, you're on the air. And I could start talking, and I could talk for four straight hours without a single caller. I'd always come up with something. Excuse me, my nose is itchy tonight. Oh, if it isn't one old man thing after another. Okay, anyway, so uh, I, I kind of decided that, uh, 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 so I kind of went to doing the interviews because I was get, getting pretty lazy about these things and um, I, I also didn't feel that I could talk for any great amount of time any longer extemporaneously and have anything important to say so here I am attempting it tonight on the last show of the year uh, and if you want to call we'll start taking calls as soon as we get enough callers uh, waiting in the uh, waiting room on uh, on Gabnet but uh, on uh, on Zoom. See, there's what I'm talking about. I just don't have the ability I once had to talk extemporaneously for any amount of time. Plus, I look damn ugly. Okay, I was looking at myself today. I was well, looking at uh, my uh, one, video of one of our shows the other day or something, and I went, God, why am I even allowing people to see me at this point? I mean, I got into radio because I didn't look too damn good, and I, I, I certainly I had a face made for radio, as the old saying goes. And so I, uh, I always did radio because I felt that radio was the best way for me to um, uh, kind of create an image of myself, but without you having to see me, and then you could believe whatever you wanted to believe I was. Well, as time went on, I did TV, I did a lot of other things. And then my pure ego of doing this made me go to a video format here also because I could. I mean, I've thought about many times doing away with the video portion of this show and just going back to doing uh, a, a live audio podcast, okay? Um, but I, I, I don't know. I figured as long as Zoom is there and as long as I have the ability to do it technologically, well, why not just go ahead and do it this way, right? So, so uh, uh, but I, I just got really lazy and I, I didn't feel I had much to say. And as you can tell now by me just talking to you, I have nothing to say, you know? Uh, just sit here and drink my coffee and, you know, wait for the, uh, wait for the 15 minutes to pass by and then I'll take callers. But if you want to start calling, uh, and I get enough callers on Zoom, uh, I will start taking calls early tonight. I noticed that uh, Charlie Wallace is here. 
some guy named Jerry D that I, I don't know if I know Jerry D, okay? But maybe I do, so, yeah. But a few more and I'll go to the, uh, I, uh, I'll put up the citizen panel just so they can listen to me rant. I was thinking about what would I talk about tonight and it's the last show of the year and I guess we should talk about the year that's gone by. And we thought that last year, at the end of the year, we were going, oh, thank God, 2000 is over and done with. We're just so happy it's over and done with because we had this whole COVID thing and we were stuck indoors and we were afraid of catching it and then dying, okay? Uh, and uh, now here we find ourselves at the end of 2021 going, God, I'm glad 2021 is over. Man, it was terrible. You know, back into, we thought we were out of the woods. You know, we thought, wow, we were home safe, all right? We just, we had it made. We got that vaccine in us and we were good to go. I know how I felt when I got my first shot and I knew that I'd have to get two shots before I then uh, uh, was ready to boogie. But then in February, I got my second shot and man, I'm walking down the street proud like a strutting rooster okay hey i've got uh, I'm, I'm covid free they can't touch me i've got the well that turned out not to be true okay so now we have to go get the third one so i get the third one and i'm now i got three of them in me and i'm walking down the street like the cock of the walk you know going hey look at me i'm protected i don't have to worry about co forget it forget it here comes omicron then they, then they do this whole deal where they're saying, Omicron, boy, it's been, going to be terrible. It's been infecting all of South Africa, and we don't know what it's all about. But, you know, it's another variant. And to us, a variant now means something new and horrible, okay? But it wasn't something new and horrible. It turns out now that Omicron is not as dangerous as Delta was. And that, in fact, if you get Omicron and you aren't... Uh, um, vaccinated, it'll probably be like a bad cold for most of you. But still, get vaccinated. Then you won't even get it to that extent. So anyway, you know, uh, it, it's been another one of those terrible mixed message years. The only thing good about it was is that we inaugurated a new president, and then he turned out to be a lox. So, you know, it's who knows, who knows, you know. Uh, I just, I just, uh, I was, I was hoping, you know, I was hoping that uh, Biden would come along and correct all the things that went wrong with this country under, under Trump. And what we didn't realize was, is that somebody else could be just as bad as Trump as president, but not be the same kind of asshole. All right. And what we didn't like about Trump was his assholeness and also the ineffectiveness uh, that he did nothing as president. Well, Biden's getting nothing done as president too. And it's just, it's just so frustrating. God, you know, and I, I don't have many, look, I just have had my 82nd birthday. All right. And I ain't getting any younger. Yeah. I love that saying. I ain't, get, of course, nobody gets any younger. We all get older and the clock starts ticking away. And eventually, mortality becomes uh, something that we become very aware of. And uh, so, you know, uh, it starts ticking away, ticking away, ticking away. You wish you had more time, but I'm beginning to think to myself, you know, I'm afraid of death and I don't want to die. But God, I don't know if I want to be here for the next 20 years to see what happens to this country, what happens to this world. Because quite frankly, we're not in a good place, you know? And on top of that, the planet has finally decided we're assholes. Uh, the, the nature has decided, fuck you, we're gonna like show you some bad stuff now because you didn't take good care of this planet. And so we get the forest fires and we get the tornadoes and we get the this and we get the that and we got the plague and we got, and nature is saying, hey, look, one day you're gonna be like the dinosaurs. You're not gonna be here any longer. And we waved goodbye to the dinosaurs and we saw them go and we've seen other people come and go, okay? And um, so long, see you around.
Goodbye, people. Well, we'll give you a few more tornadoes and some starvation, and we'll give you uh, uh, some uh, other kinds of problems so that it, you know, you're just not going to not going to be able to live on this planet very much longer. So I don't know that if I live to be another 20 years, if I would see that happen. But you know, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to be live to be a hundred. My mother did. Everybody goes, you know, you'll live to be a hundred. I said, why? Your mother lived to be a hundred. No, she lived to be a high hundred because she was too stupid to die. You know, I mean, my mother just had no concept of dying. Okay. And one day she just decided she was a hundred. One day she just decided, I'm getting tired of this. I'm not going to eat anymore. And so they couldn't feed her. She wouldn't eat. And uh, they said, well, we can force feed her. And I said, well, you know, come on. She's calling the shots now. She's saying, I don't want to be around for a while or anymore. And she uh, stopped eating and uh, slowly she died. And uh, we lost her at about 103 quarters. And uh, I remember celebrating her 100th birthday. And, you know, I don't think she even knew what it was, to be honest with you. Uh, she had dementia. She didn't have Alzheimer's. She had dementia, which is, you know, not very good in and of itself. So, but anyway, so, you know, so then I'm, I'm uh, the, the, the other negative part for me is I turned 82. You know, I wish I were younger. But then again, if I were younger, I, I just don't know if I would be able to do what I'm doing right now. Because I love doing radio. I, there was nothing I enjoyed more than radio. Radio as a medium to me was one of the greatest mediums ever invented. It was better than movies. It was better than television. Yeah, it was radio. And I loved radio and I loved what it represented. But there is no radio anymore. I mean, that you got these people who own radio stations and they're putting on programming there and they're wondering why. You know, because radio really doesn't exist anymore. And I could give you a thousand reasons why radio is better than the internet, but I'm not gonna go into that. Do you remember, I'll give you a good example. Do you remember you had a radio? And you remember you turned on the radio and there was the program? And no matter where you took that radio in your area, you could pick up that program. And you didn't have to have what was called bandwidth. You didn't need to have, uh, you know, like they, they say that when you're online now, there's one stream for every one person that's listening, okay? But with that, there was just this thing that just splayed the signal out. If I invented the internet first, and then I came up with radio, you'd say I was a genius, okay? And that we had come out with a better way, so anyway. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, we got uh, we got a couple of people waiting to come on, so why don't we why don't we do it anyway? Do it early tonight because uh, uh, I just you know I want to talk to people, and so here comes Charlie and here comes Josh, and now there is another guy here, uh, which I, I don't know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take him. His name is Jerry D. And I don't know if we had him on before. Do we know Jerry D at all? Hello, Jerry, are you there? Jerry? Are you there, Jerry? He's not there, see? That's, so let me just, uh, let me get rid of him. And we'll say, uh, make host and make uh, no 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 I don't want to make him a host I don't want I want to get rid of him put in waiting room I'll put him in the waiting waiting room we'll get rid of him anyway uh, so I put him up there I got to get rid of that hello Charlie hello Josh here we are it's the end of a year right yep. did I sum it up okay yeah huh yeah it uh it, it has not been a, it, it's another terrible year <laughs> you know i mean it just, yeah but the, the covid numbers are almost where they were a year ago yeah they're almost where they were a year ago and uh you know we one thing we don't have uh that was was killing us a great deal was trump okay and yeah. and that that's that's a good thing uh because you know he was a he what a douchebag you know just a just a major douche uh, am I being too nasty about it? 
No, I don't think so. No. So. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, how would you sum up the year, Charlie? Got any summation for us? Well, it was a little better for me because I actually did get back to work in July. So, you know, so uh, financially it was a little better than last year. Yeah. But. But, you're right, it's um, second year in a row that it's just been horrible. Yeah. Well, what do you think about this year, Josh? Yeah, I mean, it was okay. You know, man. <laughs> I love you. you well, it was okay. <laughs> wasn't and, great. Uh, wait, well, you mean, start off by going, eh, it was okay, and then you say it wasn't great, and then you launch into a whole bunch of stuff that was terrible no, about it. I mean, nothing really. I mean, I I did what I things that I wanted to do this year despite, you know, mm -hmm. everything going on. I'm not I'm not just I'm not going to keep going on with this for years and years and let four or five, six years go by and we don't do anything. I mean, you know, so... I just take care of myself and do what I can. We're just going on. I mean, you know, I would think a lot of companies out there, including mine, had to finally kind of get right with people financially and everything, you know, given the state of the workforce and stuff. So there was a few positive things that came out of it, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, stuff like that. I mean, overall so i guess personally you know it hasn't been you know too bad for me at all but uh collectively as a country and stuff i'm certainly not happy with mm -hmm. where things are politically and everything I, I definitely think you know we've taken a step back in that regard mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. by the way everybody i'm going to remove this guy and it's going to make a thing come up here uh, uh yes remove okay remove him okay there we go well i'm removing him and now i'm frozen oh no <laughs> oh boy oh I'll there we go him. oh there we go now we're there okay now see something came in the front here uh and uh don't report it i don't want to go through all of that you, you know i can't just remove somebody i gotta have a thing coming up going sure you want to remove them yeah well i hit remove because i wanted to remove them and then it, the reason it froze is it was waiting to come up with something that says, uh, do you want to report this? No, I don't want to report it. I just want to get on with my goddamn show. Without all these things coming on in the front of my picture here. Anyway, um, so I'm, uh, I've been sniffling all day. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Yes, Jeff. I can't hear you, Jeff. You did. You're muted, Jeff. Well, I'm unmuted. Yeah, now you're um, unmuted. You'll you'll learn how to do this eventually. Yeah. I know how to do it. It'll only take me about five, six years. You know, <laughs> really yeah. But anyway, I I don't know why, but I wake up in the morning, I'm sneezing like crazy. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's something out there. There's something out there. Oh, here comes Alan. Yeah. We all know who Alan is, so it's not, yeah. that's not a problem. Uh, hello there, Alan. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Good. I was almost afraid there for a moment. I was frozen yeah. and that I would have to reboot everything and screw up the whole program. I, but I actually right. watched the show for with the four of you on for a couple minutes because I was eating a burrito and didn't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Online, and you didn't look frozen on this side. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. You said, I heard you say that you were... You got rid of somebody and then you froze up temporarily, but it didn't look like it. Well, because I start getting all these messages. I start getting all these messages from Zoom. Are you sure you want to remove him? Yes, I do. I didn't hit remove because I didn't want to remove him. You know, this allow me to remove him without making a big deal out of it. I know this is going to be a strange thing, but maybe Zoom has never heard of Alex Bennett and knows the power that he has. Who? Yeah, who? Alex Bennett, who? Who? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. I got to blow my nose. Uh, again, no, I don't want to admit him. See, and then I'll hit remove. No, I don't want to hit remove either. I'll just not mm -hmm. not uh, bring him in. Uh, although, uh, I'm wondering, hmm. Should we Is try him? playing games again? Should we try him one more time? 
Up to you. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, hello, Jerry. Are you there? Jerry? Are you there? Okay. Put him waiting. There he is. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Hello, Jerry. Jerry, you got you got to he's got to you got to hear the audio. Uh, uh, now I've seen him before, right? What what happened to Alan? Oh, I lost Alan. Here we go. <laughs> Mid Alan. Did I did I dump the wrong guy here? I guess I did. <laughs> Hello, Alan. Hello, young. Yeah. Glad you called back. <laughs> Well, I, th I threw you in the waiting room, right? Yeah. That's because I pressed yeah. the wrong button here. And uh, Okay, Jerry, are you there? You've got to turn on your, uh, let's see here. Jerry's microphone. Got, well, Jerry doesn't have a microphone there. Well, no, he is. Wait a minute. Let me put here. Let me see here. Uh, uh, no, I got to make, I, there's a thing I can do to get him to, uh, um, I don't want to mute him. Oh, that's Josh. I don't want Josh. Where Where is Jerry? Here we go. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. Put in waiting room. Remove. No. Rename. No. Spotlight for everyone. No. Stop video chat. I just want to tell him to. Uh, 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 oh. Okay. Here we. Here we. Nod go. your head, Jerry, if you can hear us. Can you hear us, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Oh, yeah, we're going to spend the next part of the whole year. Oh, asked, asked to unmute. Now muted. Okay. Mute. Unmuted. Uh, asked to unmute. Here, wait a minute. It says asked to oh, unmute. Muted, there we yeah. go. Now we're trying to unmute him. Okay. Now asked to unmute. Okay. I'm pushing the button. It says asked to unmute. And he doesn't unmute. Are you there? Can Hi. you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Hello? Uh, uh, Jerry has now got his mic on. Have you got your mic on, Jerry? But you haven't got your audio on. He can't hear me. Yeah. Huh? You can't hear you, me. Uh, you muted me when you unmuted him. That was fun. Oh, uh, well, no. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just unmuted myself. He, he, yeah. Well, he hasn't you guys got, didn't hear me say that, hey, Jerry, we like your haircut. He, he hasn't got, no got his audio going, so I don't know. I, I give up. Yeah, hi. All right, yeah, bye. Right. Hi. Right. Right. Yeah, you can hear us? Can you hear us? No, he can't hear us. And he can't talk to us either. Oh, this, He's that, not muted, but we huh? hear nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear us? No. Oh, I'm not, I'm through with this, Jerry. I can't do it. All right. Hi, Jerry. See you next week. Yeah, not next week. We're not doing a show next. Two week. weeks. Let me see here. Two weeks. Let me see here. Where's Jerry D? And then I go a more, and then I'm going to go. Uh, put him waiting. I'll put him in the waiting. Me? I'll put him in the. Oh wait a minute. Did he came just came on for just a second? He just came on for just a second. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Let me admit him again. Let me get him up at, back here again. Let me view. This is a gallery. I don't know what happened there. Hello, Jerry. Can you hear us? I hear you. Okay. No, now, we there, you. there we go. There he is. Well, that was a nice. Thanks, everybody. Good show tonight. See you later. <laughs> See you next year. Yeah. How, how does it feel to have it happen to somebody else, Jeff? Oh, it's the sun. <laughs> I love you, Jeff. You know, that. <laughs> you know that. Stop uh, picking on Jeff. Anyway, yeah, uh, 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 J Jerry, how was your year? Um, I can hear you. You can't hear me. Oh boy. Happy 2022. Yeah, yeah happy 2022. But uh, you can't you hear us. 2022. Why I can't he hear us? Do you, do you guys have chat? Maybe you can chat with him and ask him to turn on his speaker. And we'll try that. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend the next two hour yes. and a half. You know, I, 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 I don't, I don't really, 
need to do anything at the beginning of the show. I don't have to talk. I can just go to the phone <laughs> thing, and we can try yeah, and solve some them of the technical problems for a half hour. Can you hear us now? Can you hear us, Jerry? Well, he saw the message. I hear you. Good. You can hear us. Uh, I hear you. You hear us. Uh, you can hear us okay now. Apparently, I hear you okay. Oh, you can hear us okay. Ooh, I can hear you okay. All right. That's anyway, good. Jer Jerry, what kind of a year was it for you? Oh, boy. I can't put up with Apparently that. Apparently, it goes in and out. Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm not, I'm not going to. For fuck's sake. Huh? I, I don't, I mean, learn how to operate fucking Zoom or what? It's I mean, easy if I can learn that. anybody. Yeah, well, I don't want to have to take how many hours here? Doing the show, right. take the we whole tried. show, trying to get somebody. You know, like on. you said, see you in 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, that'll give him time to read the two pages on how to work Zoom. See you next year. Let's see. It. Well, there's not much to work in Zoom. That's you know. my point. Huh? Two pages. You know, uh, they've made it pretty easy. They wanted it so any moron can do it. You know, not that I'm calling Jerry a moron. And not that I'm Just calling Jeff a moron. What? <laughs> not anybody else. Right? No, no. Anyway. So anyway, um, I don't know. I was just, I was just thinking that you know, this has been again. We thought that the end of last year, we went, oh, thank God, 2020 is gone. <laughs> it's over with. It's done. It's toast. This will be a great year, you know. And the next thing you know, and the first thing we did out of the, out of the shoot was i think uh early january i did my first uh covid shot you yeah. know that was that was a good news off to a good start got my second shot off to an even better sh start as you, i said you were actually behind me i got my second shot february 8th so yeah you, you would oh, you, well, you remember that. why uh, you're older than me. No, you're they somehow they they scheduled, I don't remember. At those those days they were scheduling you in for a date. Oh, yeah. Let me turn up up my mic here oh, so people right. can hear me better. Uh, 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 for a date, and they did me five weeks after the first shot, so that's why. Oh, that's you know, right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. But I'm, uh, you know, I, I was okay. I came out okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Uh, so, uh, you know, Phil was talking about Paul Jung, who's, who, who listens to the show. Yeah. A really nice guy. Him and his wife both got COVID. Mm -hmm. Phil mentioned that he got COVID on the show last night. They're, they're, uh, they're double. They were double. They are double vaccinated with Moderna. Yeah. But had not got their booster. Oh, and okay. they both got COVID. So I guess this booster is really... Like the like like the people were saying, it's very important. Important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you didn't. Paul, you Paul's, Paul's getting better, and his wife's on her way to getting better. Too. You waited till later in the year, didn't you, Josh, to get yours? Uh, yeah, I think it was September or something. Yeah. What what took you so long? I can't remember. You just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> That's my guy, Josh. That's yeah. why I like him. I didn't give a fuck. Uh, it's really. very laid back where he lives. Well, how about you? Uh, you you're, you're at your paint company. Um, how uh, you know? Um, how how bad was it there? I mean, did did you, did you get a lot of people coming down with it or what? Yeah, it was pretty. I mean, it wasn't you know terrible, but. Uh, last year I had it on the team of people that work for me, about half of them had it on the one side of the building that worked for me. And then just a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. I lost a few guys to it, uh, on the other side. So it kind of came in groups. When you say and lost, then, that, when you say that's my... What's that? When you say lost people to it, you don't mean they died. You just lost no, no, no. Them. They they were just out. I mean, you know, they had a you know, you know, got symptoms and positive tests, and then out and all that. Mm -hmm. And then so that's my departments that I oversee. Mm -hmm. Plant wide, I mean, it, it wasn't. I mean, 
150 people that work there. Yeah. Let's say 25, 30 people, maybe. That's you know, so I mean, if, I don't know if that's above the average of this population yeah. or below or what. I don't know, but I mean, it, it, that might even be a little high. It wasn't. It, mm -hmm. it wasn't really, really bad or anything. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, it didn't didn't go through and affect, um, you know, everybody or anything. Uh, I'm actually, I don't know, man. I think of my my entire department. I think I might be the only person that never uh, never had it. To be honest with you, really. Uh, most of the people, most of the people that were affected were people that worked for me. So. I don't know, maybe I fucking had it and gave it to everybody or something. You could have had an asymptomatic case. Yeah, I you know, I'm not sure, yeah, man. Most people uh, don't die on it. It's just that so many people have it that the numbers are so high. But the, uh, I mean, I, I don't think it was, it was probably somewhere around like 15, 20% or something of our uh, staff, you know, or our employees. It wasn't real bad. And, uh, you know, thankfully, it didn't get, like, the entire, like, the leadership staff or anything like that. I mean, because, mm -hmm. you know, they're a little bit lax with the regular employees about some of the stuff because of the job stuff they do. But, like, with the staff, they were they were real strict about, you know, meetings, having the mask and all that stuff. So, I mean, it, it never seemed to get out of control there. Yeah. You know, in mm -hmm. and, and the area that that uh all those guys live in and where the site is there for a while was pretty high uh so i don't just kind of anecdotally i don't see that we were like well above the population or anything mm -hmm. it was just a you know the averages i mean it was just a it was a real headache though you know there for a while i mean when you got you know four or five guys working one side in a job and you know suddenly you're without three of the four or four of the five it was a little rough there for a couple of weeks i mean i guess if you ask me how the year was i mean i'm tired <laughs> i mean like i'm fucking exhausted i mean i'm you know it's it's uh i mean as a matter of fact they after the first year or whatever i, I mean i think I'm going to have a day or two off when things settle down that, you know, like not, they're just going to have me stay home because it's just, I mean, when I lost all those people, I mean, I was just, you know, I was just doing their jobs. Cause I mean, we have some people to fill in, but you know, we, I mean, they, they still got to make what they got to make. They can't give me everybody. So we just had to survive. I mean, I loading trucks, unloading trucks, moving trailers. I'm inside. I mean, it's just chaos all day. Cause you know, you should have five guys and you got two, but they yeah. can't stop. You know, so well, the other the other people, tired. I think a lot of people are tired. The other people on the show are uh, retired. You could have called us, Josh. We would have come out. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, so I mean, I think that's what a lot of people probably are. You know, when they say they're tired, I mean, yeah, I know they're tired of COVID and you know the rules, regulations, the conversations, the mm -hmm. changing every day, whatever. But I mean, I think a lot of people that's the part that we maybe forget about a little bit is a lot of these places that lose staff, you know, they still have a job to do a company to run that kind of thing. So someone still has to do that work. And, you know, a, a lot of the jobs in pl places like mine are, you know, you could have worked there for 10 years and always worked in different jobs. You can't just go over there and start doing that other job instantly. I mean, takes time and training so the people that you get you, you, you just kind of having them do work that you don't have to it's just you're just tired you know what i mean it just wears you out i mean mentally and then you know you get up at five o'clock in the morning you go in before six you work till five six in the evening you come home you, you go to sleep and you do it again you know for like a whole week you know and then the next week you know you get a guy back and another guy's out i mean it just wears people out so did more anything, anybody just, did anybody more at your, did anybody at your place of employment uh, die from COVID at all? Uh, no, we didn't have anybody. Did um, any, any of them wind up in the hospital? I think maybe uh, maybe of all those cases, man, I think maybe like two. Mm -hmm. um, 
maybe. And uh, I had heard, but I, I don't know. I'd heard that we had one employee that was pretty daggone sick and was on a ventilator for a while, but uh, he did not uh, pass away because I did not hear anything about that. And he works in a totally different area than I do for the quality control people. Um, and he was retiring anyway. He only had like two or three weeks left to work and he got sick and he went out. So, now, you know, now he's never coming back because his retirement date was up. But um, I heard at one point he was fairly, you know, in sort of rough shape for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think most of the other people just had your typical, um, you know, type of case where they were sick really wearing them out mm-hmm. and you know stuff like that but not right. really hospitalized <laughs> or anything like that i mean i know my boss had it and he was pretty damn sick for a couple days uh but i don't think he had to you no know, but he didn't have to get hospitalized but he said it was like um he was like on the verge of it it was just he was just you know exhausted i mean it was just you know it was you know it was yeah. not yeah like people say it was not the regular flu or whatever. I mean, it was, it was a very, very bad case of that. So luckily, you know, everyone seems to have pulled through pretty well. Okay. I don't think we've had much here lately. Okay. Anyway, um, by the way, um, Alan, do away with that, uh, background because you had it last night, but you took us off the air before I could do anything. No, because your head, your head disappears. I mean, just do away with that. I, 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 it's such a, you know, the background thing that they have, unless you have a green screen like I do here. Yeah, is I so, don't. Is so bad, you know. Oh, the only look. time it's fun watching you is when you drink out of a clear bottle and it looks like you're holding the liquid, Alex, mm-hmm. instead of the bottle. Look what I have, though. I have a shadow now. See that? Yeah, you do. How about that? Yeah. Are you sure it's yours? Yeah, no, it's a shadow. Yeah. Anyway, um, um, you, here's something that amazed me. You know, every day you find out that you didn't know something, and you go, why didn't I know that? Who is the richest man in the world? I mean, hmm. excluding Putin, who may be the richest man in the world, but we don't know. Who, Isn't it I Elon thought, Musk now? You are absolutely correct. It's what? Elon mm-hmm. Musk. He is worth $224 billion. Is that more than Donald Trump? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, from what I hear. Trump I hear it's about $224 billion more. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, uh, $224 billion. He's way ahead of Jeff Bezos. Yeah. But where did all that money come from? This, most of it's come in the last two years since COVID. Why? I don't know. I mean, what what, what was it? Where I thought he just made that car that didn't do that well, you know? Yeah. Uh, and that he had the space thing, yeah. which has got to cost a fortune. But apparently, apparently he has some other stuff. He must, yeah, he's got some investments that are paying him lots of dividends. I'm sure. Now, like here's, here's, here's a great thing. We got, uh, what's her name? Elizabeth Warren, mm-hmm. who is my new favorite douchebag. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. She came out with this thing about Elon Musk and said that uh, uh, I, I, I just don't like uh, giving money to people who are billionaires yeah. and have billions of dollars. And don't pay a penny in taxes. That's Elon. Uh, no, it's not. Elon came out the other day and said, here's my tax records. I'm paying $12 billion in taxes this year. But he made over $100 billion. But, but That's okay. He's, he's paying his fair share. How much did Jeff Bezos pay? And he's a billionaire. And how much I'm sure did he Bill a lot. Gates play, pay? And he's a billionaire. How much did Trump pay? We'll never know until we get yeah. his records. All I'm saying is she should lay off Elon Musk because at least he's paying $12 billion in taxes. Right. You know, so I mean. Uh, so you you always like to give correct news here. So I'll make a correction. At the aging of 
of the person that told us. Hmm. Last night, Phil said yeah. that Biden um, thanked Trump for uh, helping well, get the vaccine he, he out. Sent, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, he sent me a. Uh, I, of course, it, he did. I'm sure he sent everybody yeah, on the panel. Yeah. Was that true? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Biden thanked Biden Trump. Did, did say it. Okay. But you know, so he was trying to Bill point was, out. He was, Bill was right one time out of a thousand. Well, he, he no, he was. He was. The thing was that what Biden was trying to do was make the point that COVID is not a political thing. Right. That's right. And that he wasn't going to make it a political thing by blaming Trump for COVID, but rather giving him credit for helping get the vaccines going. And he did. Trump did help there. Yeah. So. So you know that's okay. So that's to Biden's credit. Absolutely. You know. But Trump, that, but, but Phil spun but, it towards I, Trump's I just credit. think Elizabeth Warren spoke a little too soon. You know, I mean, at least he's paying $12 billion in taxes. Now you say, of course, he made two, he has $224 billion. That's how much he has. That's net worth. That's not how much he made last year that would he would pay taxes on. If he's paying $12 billion in taxes, He's paying more than most billionaires pay because they find ways to weasel out of it. Yeah. And he doesn't. You know, he uh, he was not born in this country. Um, if I'm if I know if I know the story correctly, but they say he's very patriotic and he believes in paying taxes. So I think Elizabeth Warren owes him an apology. <laughs> well, we're waiting, Elizabeth. <laughs> Yeah, you no know. kidding. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, come on, uh, go up, go after Bezos. Bezos, fucking Amazon didn't pay taxes for years. Forget about Bezos himself. But yeah, I, but how much of his not paying taxes were right off uh, building buildings, uh, distribution, all that kind of stuff is a write off to a business and. Ideally, if you can get more write off than you owe in taxes, just like anybody how in this business, country. How much business do you think Amazon does every year? More than any company in the in the world, probably. Probably, probably. I, I know that anytime I I don't go out anymore to buy stuff. I buy right, it on either. I buy it on Amazon. Yep. I bought something the other day that cost three dollars and seventy five cents, and they shipped it to me. Yep. You know. I'm trying to see the smallest thing I can order. Maybe you can do some homework during our time off and find the smallest item I can buy on Amazon that they have to ship to me. If you can find something under a dollar, let me know. Okay. Okay? Because I would love to get something for under a dollar that cost them like $3 to ship. I, yeah. I have a well, my Amazon Prime. They'll tell you how much you spend weekly. Yeah. And so this... This this month I'm down to twenty seven hundred dollars. So, for the month, you're down to twenty seven hundred. Yeah, on Amazon Prime. What do you mean you're I down? Buy, I buy I like you. I buy most of my stuff that way. I get toilet paper. You go to Walmart. Look at their price. They want uh, you know twenty five dollars for X number of rolls of the stuff that I like, and you then you go over to Amazon and they know that you've been to Walmart somehow and they give you exactly the same price. And I get it shipped for free. What's your favorite toilet yeah. tissue? Um, I like uh, Cottonelle. You like Cottonelle? Why do you like? Yeah. Oh, is that the wet wet stuff? No, no, it, <laughs> it, gets, it gets wet. No, it, it, I like it. It's a premium toilet paper. I yeah. used to think Costco's brand Kirkland toilet paper. Kirkland is. We use we use Kirkland. Yeah, Mar Mar well, you know, my it, the trouble is my finger goes through it too often. No, I never yeah. have that happen. Never have that happen. Really? So you get the Kirkland model with the fiberglass built into it, yeah, right? Yeah, right. But here's the thing. Um, um, Marjorie used to get, what was it? What's the other kind that they have there? Uh, um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, there's a Charmin. Sh no, not Charmin. That's Scott. Scott. She used yeah. to love Scott. Mm -hmm. The only trouble with Scott was it's ruining the planet. Okay, because not only is the toilet paper made out of paper, but they wrap each individual roll in paper. In paper, yeah. So now you got to take that paper off. And I said to her, come on, you know, and she's at an age where she doesn't want to try anything new. But yeah. one day I said, 
you really should try the Kirkland. Nah, I don't want to try the Kirkland. No, I'm used to Scott. I'm happy with it. I've been using it for years. And I'm going, oh, God. Okay. All right. So now we're out at my business manager's place in California. And uh, I notice what they're using for toilet paper. So I kind of don't tell her for a bit. And I'm going, how do you like toilet paper you're using here? She's, oh, it's very good. Feels terrific. That's Costco's Kirkland brand. <laughs> And since then, we've been mm. doing Kirkland, you know. Uh, you probably get a sheet of it every time you sit down for dinner to remind you that you told her. No. <laughs> no. No. But, I mean, I uh, I, I like uh, I like Kirkland. It's not good. When I, when I find something I can't get you a gift that I want to get you, I'll send you a case of Kirkland. Oh, just send me some more dude wipes. I'm running out of dude wipes. <laughs> Are you? Okay. Yeah. I actually just sent them to a buddy of mine in Palm Springs. He'd never heard of them. He got a good chuckle. Yeah, I'm running out of dude wipes. I, I got to like the dude wipes. Actually, the dude wipes, you can get a single pack, I think, for under $2. I was looking last night, and I think a single pack for under $2. There's only one something. problem with the dude wipes. The, uh, pe the, pe the, the individual <laughs> pieces don't come out well. You got to you, you pull them and like three of them come out at the same time. You know, they they got to do a better job of packing them dude wipes. Uh, you know, I, I get Amazon wipes, the non-scented, um, fragrance-free, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I got a pack of the dude wipes and I would swear it's done by the same company. Why? Why? Well, why would you why pull would one you... dude wipe out and you get three? You pull one of the Amazon brand stuff, you get three. Yeah, but why? Answer me this one. Well, Cottonelle is better because they, they, they seem to work better that way coming out. But why would they scent these things? I mean, I, I don't know. I, do, you I, bend, I get you, do you bend over and smell your ass? I mean, why no, do you but scent I get, these I get, things? I get contact. I use free and clear laundry detergent because if I use laundry detergent that's got scents in it, it makes me itch. I have contact dermatitis like a lot Boy, of people, you're a mess, aren't you? I am. I am. It's part of part of being Jewish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, anyhow, but uh, yeah. okay, I, I'll I'll make it a point to send you more dude wipes. Yeah. Uh, but did you have you run out of monkey butt powder yet? No, I haven't run out of monkey butt powder. But thank you for sending it to me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, that's, you know, when, when, every, uh, now and then I, every now and then I get something in the mail and it's something strange and it's like monkey butt powder. <laughs> well, I thought you sent me as a payback. I can't figure out who sent me the, the, uh, Dianox urine test strips that I got last week that I told you about. That's probably uh, Brian. <laughs> Probably, I don't know who. You know, what are those, te are those test strips to find out if you have blood in your urine? Yeah. Yeah. No, well, I do always. That's, have that's why I figured it had to be somebody on the show. I always have blood in my urine. So I've had yeah. it for the last twenty years. So. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And th three cystoscopies later, I decided to just live with it. You know. One of them was enough for me. I had to have two. Yeah, no, I have. I think I, they enjoy doing them. I don't. It hurts. It's uncomfortable. It's very uh, uncomfortable. It, you know, it's like it's like they, they stick this four-inch tube down your. Let's not get inch. into it. We, oh, okay. <laughs> we've only got twenty-eight people watching tonight. We don't, we don't have very many calls. That's pretty good for only having four members. Oh, five of us on here all together. Yeah. Well, usually if uh, Phil Meyer got on, I mean, we'd probably pick up more more people. Yeah. Well, you know, and and I, we could use a few more callers. Anybody out there that uh, is interested in calling? Go ahead, Phil. Call in. Ah, oh, boy. I can imagine. I can't, we're going on a break for almost two weeks. Okay. So I understand you bought a new monitor. What well, brand? Well, 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 anyway, let me finish what I'm saying. Then we can get to the next thing. That's the way this usually works, Alan. Uh, now I forgot what I said. What I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we have two weeks. And I imagine I will come back at the end of two weeks, and there won't be anybody here. Nobody will call. You know? I'll be here. You'll be I'll here? I'll be here. Oh, okay. All right. I'll be here. What day are you starting back? 
I'm starting back on the fifth. I'm doing the mon Well, I'm doing the Monday show uh, next Monday. Uh, I'm continuing to do the Monday show because I like the Monday. I really. Oh like well, it. maybe I'll get on the Monday. Are you doing the Monday show next week? No, don't call the Monday show. Oh well, no, that's my birthday. Don't call the Monday show. Happy okay, birthday! Okay, I got it. I wish you a happy birthday now. Don't call the Monday. Okay, show. good. Thank you. Thank you. I I won't call the Monday show because I got to get up too damn early to go. Yeah. Get on the one. You know, it's one o'clock here, and it, you I'm wouldn't really fit in with that go. mix. You know, yeah. Jeff does. Charlie does. Josh never calls it, so I can't say whether he does. I agree does. with you, Jeff. You're muted. Mon Monday is the best. <laughs> actually, on that show, Jeff actually talks. Yeah, I can talk. Yeah, yeah. Anytime. Yeah. But you know, I, I have a lot of competition. There's people in the house that like to talk <laughs> and make noises. <laughs> Could you noise. imagine that? Yeah. I'll send you some uh, these these ties that are like wire ties, Jeff. But the cops use them to tie people up quickly. <laughs> you can you can you can. They, they call them flex cuffs in the police business. You can yeah. flex cuff everybody, and they won't make noise when you're on the show. We, we, we've been joined by Brian Neary, by the way. Don't call the Monday show. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Charlie's talking about me everything, but I, you know what? I just call just to tell him, don't call the Monday show. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Have a nice <laughs> Bye. That's it? I thought you were going to fess up the sending. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you probably sent, you know, Alex thinks you sent me these stupid I, I didn't script. think he sent them to you. You said so. No, I didn't, say, I didn't oh. say. Somebody said Brian. What did they, Brian. urine strips? What did they detect? The blood, well, urine. all the different things, 10 <laughs> things here. Uh, Leukocytes, nitrates, pH, blood, all that kind of specific gravity, ketones. Are they like ketone strips? Well, the, the ketone is one of the... Because I, the, I had those when I was doing the, uh, the uh, uh, low-carb diet. They yeah. say, Ch check your urine and the ketones. So you have to pee on the strip, which is, you know, I, it's not... Mm. It just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, and you pee on the strip, and then you wait for it to turn blue. Right. And, and then if it if it turns blue, you're in perfect ketosis. And I never got into perfect ketosis. And you're supposed to get into good ketosis in order to lose weight. But I was losing weight anyway, so why did I have to pee on these goddamn strips? So I threw them all out, you know. But uh, maybe that may who who I wonder. Who, maybe you weren't supposed to urinate. Maybe you were supposed to stick them maybe, on your tongue. Maybe somebody. Yeah. Have you been on a diet lately, like a low carb diet or no, no? No, you couldn't possibly be on a diet. Uh, I'm. I speak too too soon. Uh, talking to Brian or myself. I'm talking to you. Oh. Oh, Brian's well, been on a diet. He's lost. Yeah, Brian. Look Brian was flexing his muscles with his shirt Look off. Look at him. Look, on mm -hmm. Facebook the other day. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I was listening to the show while I was packing, but I'm waiting for the boss to approve my outfits for my Vegas trip. When's the oh. Vegas trip? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. And you're going to be gone for how long? Uh, till the 28th. Till the 28th. Isn't the positivity rate like 20% there? I don't know, doctor. Tell me. I don't, I don't know either. Okay. It was a few months back ago. Well, it was so one 20, of the 28th. Days. You're going to be there how many days? Like four or five, five days, I guess. Five days. Boy, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I used to have to spend five days in Vegas four because days. I worked these trade shows. Mm -hmm. I was a hooker. Uh, no, <laughs> I worked these trade shows. And uh, uh, five days, man, after five days, I couldn't stand it any longer. <laughs> yeah, we have four days. But yeah, when I. Hold on, hold on one second. <laughs> uh, close the door. <laughs> oh, he's so when sit. I used to party in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Speaking like of strippers. It's... No, so no, but when when my when my friend and I used to party in Vegas, mm -hmm. we I know you said the same thing before. <laughs> and three three days we would go for three day weekends, and it would be fine. There was only one time that we did a fourth day. And that fourth night, he and I were both in the room just watching ESPN all night. Exactly. <laughs> we couldn't move. 
another friend got there. Luckily, he went to the strip club to go pick up my phone. I left there. That fell out of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Likely, <excuse. laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, three nights is perfect. Four is just over the top. Yeah. So, which of the three nights when you were at the strip club did you lose your phone? Uh, the last one. Oh, okay. That happens. Oh, Vegas. Uh, hold on a second. I I'm starting to get a cough. I wonder if I have COVID. <clears throat> COVID. <clears throat> or a cold. No, I just been. I think I've been having allergies. It, Jeff said he's had them too. Yeah. The trouble is, allergies are 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 365 days a year now. Remember? Well, go go get your testing. You'll know for me. sure that you don't have COVID. I don't care if I have COVID. Let me have COVID. I don't care. I'm I'm. I'll just get a bad cold. Oh shit. Yeah. So. That's how you sneak one of your COVID tablets into your mouth. Yeah. So, uh, anybody doing anything interesting for New Year's? You, well, you, well, well, you're you're going to be home by then, Brian. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably just do something around here. Yeah, like yeah. what? My friends own a couple small little bar thingies, so maybe we just go hang out. What do you mean little bar thingies? <laughs> yeah, Do you mean they own yeah. bars? Bars and they play house music and so yeah, just but it's my friends are DJs, so yeah. Oh, so just I see. okay. House music is that like when your house is settling and the creaking noises? Now you're taking you're taking your kids with you to Vegas, right? Yes. So what do you do with kids in Vegas? <laughs> uh, leave them in the room. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, my 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 friends they love food so that's why i've been on diet for this week so we're gonna go a lot of food places we're gonna go see jabberwockies you know the dance group thingy and uh and then i think yeah so they're just they're yeah we'll find stuff to do are penn and teller doing shows yet again in vegas oh i haven't heard it i haven't heard it i haven't checked on that yeah because i mean a lot of those places have just been you know Ve vegas was hit pretty hard Oh yeah, and yes, I, 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 you know, uh, were you able to get a good deal on a hotel room there? Yeah, yeah. My friend, we call him the cruise director because he goes and makes all the arrangements, and we just, we just pay him. <laughs> yeah, but I, with you know, in Vegas, what do you do with kids? I mean, do they have places to go? Is there are the sure, things? Circus, circus, and some. No, of no, the no. But circus, you know. circus. If you want to have the watch the acts, they're in. They're playing in the uh, in the casino. You know, no, there's there's an area in Circus Circus. I'll never forget York. the time I went to Circus Circus at ten o'clock in the morning. Jesus. And I walk into the casino, and up above me is this woman spinning around, while a guy has what she's spinning around on, clenched in his teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going. What point in your life do you wake up? What morning do you wake up and say, you know what? I think I'd like to start doing at ten o'clock in the morning. You know, get up Hoping there. Some 150 pound woman in my team. <laughs> exactly. What what day do you make yeah. that decision? You know. I don't know. What hotel are you staying at, Brian? Venetian. I've never been there. It's, 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 I usually stay at Bellagio. Yeah, I've been everywhere. Every hotel over there. We bet. Uh, yeah, I don't even know which ones still exist anymore. It's Treasure Island still exist? Yes. It does? Yeah. And and Bellagio, oh, of course, year. still exists, and uh, uh, Caesar's Palace still exists. Mm. Yeah. Hard Rock MGM is still there. Trump and uh, Trump. Trump uh, we had the oh, Trump yeah. one. They had the him and uh, what's his name? They had the the Dick. Remember, they had uh, Trump went so high, and then what's his name? The other guy down there. Um, Steve Wynn. Yeah, Wynn, and then Wynn built a hotel. And he built it just a little bit, a little bit higher than his. So just it, to piss him off. They don't like each other. Off. Wait a minute. So there's a Trump hotel in in Vegas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I thought all his gambling establishments pretty much went belly up. Uh, I don't think it would be Hmm. They yeah. couldn't pay me to stay at a Trump hotel. No, not at all. Just oh. think of the dancers are probably called Trumplets. Well, when last time my business manager was in town, 
he said, I'm, we're having dinner at this restaurant, and it's a very famous restaurant here in New York. can't remember the name of it right now. That's how famous it is. And, and I uh, said, okay, where is it? And he gives me the address, and it's in the Trump Hotel. And I don't want to eat. I, I almost didn't want to eat there. And he said, no, the, the, you know, th this is a great, and it was a great restaurant. You know, I had to agree with that. But, you know, I, I, I just said, I, I, did, I don't want to walk in. It says Trump out there. It's scary. Yeah. But anyway, so um, so what? any predictions for this year? <sighs> oh, it'll get worse. Well, we'll have we'll have a million COVID deaths by, by the end of January. Do you think so? Oh, yeah. yeah. What are we at right now? 813,000, and we're averaging about 2,000 deaths a day. Jeez. So we're God, all those Republicans dying. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, they're all unvaccinated. Yep. So we're you what? We get a few that are vaccinated, but most of them are unvaccinated. You know, probably 98%, 99% are unvaccinated. Yep. Yeah, so my, <clears throat> one of my best friends, his sister, I, I talked about her a few weeks ago, but she went back into the hospital. She's been having complications, but she had COVID and then they're just about to release her and they found a hole in her colon. So, Ooh. Uh, yeah, so they kept her in and then she left for a couple of days and she went back in. So, but she's overweight. So, you know, when we start talking about these numbers, you know, you start, gotta start looking at the obesity rates too are pretty, probably pretty high with a lot of these people are taking, even if they've been vaccinated, she's been vaccinated and you know, when you're when you're big, it's very very difficult for your body. Well, to a, colon, a hole in your colon would that be caused by diverticulitis? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, you could get septic shock from that yeah. quickly. Oh wow, quickly. Yeah. So she had to go back in, and uh, she's been on and off that ventilators back and forth. So it's pretty scary. Wow. Wow. Yeah, she, one of those sisters that was always hanging out with her brother. So when we used to go out to the club, she would always be hanging out, but. She had cute friends, so I always let her hang out with well, I, I was going to go to my sister's for Christmas, but she announced that her stepdaughter is bringing their, their three young kids who all have colds and uh, are not vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why didn't she do the right thing and say she was staying home with the kids? By the way, Ray, welcome but to I'm Happy. Welcome to, Hello. Welcome to Happy Talk. Yeah, well, you know. That's life. Oh, That's life in the big city. Yeah, yeah. Are you a Hearst Castle Ray or what? <laughs> yeah, no. That's the in. That's actually the inside of Buckingham Palace where they oh, live. Oh really? Yes. They don't have very big beds there, do they? No. Where the magic happens. I. They probably actually don't sleep in that bed. I think it's oh. just you know ornamental. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. Recreational. Yeah. And then I have another photo to go along with that. Really. Yeah, I can't believe this. I'm actually, I'm actually getting a shadow here. Yeah, or I had shadow. Uh, cool. I had it there for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Looks good. Well, anyway. What's yeah. this? This is a picture of a woman with big breasts. That's the bottom of Camila. Uh, what's her name? Uh, the prince's uh, second Prince wife. Charles. Yeah. You got three boobs. Why do you? Oh, and there we go. There's Tony. Why do I have that? Because I was uh, there was a play on Zoom that somebody was doing, and I was doing the graphics for him, and I was like coming up with different things to show him to see what they wanted. Yeah, but I'm wondering um, uh, where's Tony been? We haven't heard from Tony no. in the last. He was on the show last night, wasn't he? Was he? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't on last night. No. My daughter. Ray, my daughter. She, the, the 13 year old, she had taken, you know, she picked some electives and she didn't get the electives, but she had uh -huh. drama. And yeah. She said, I hate drama. I don't want to do drama. So this was last you know, year and a half ago. Yeah. And now she's been in three semesters and she loves it. Now she's like, she wants to do acting. She wants to do all this mm. stuff. So, this is your daughter? Yeah. This is the 12, oh. uh, 13 year old. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Where'd she I'm go to school? She goes to school at uh, Casalero Middle, and then she'll be going to uh, Pioneer. Oh, okay. Here's here's yeah. my here's here's my point. Once somebody gets into acting, what's not to like about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, if you get if it's if it 
if it really speaks to you, you can't you can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like rock climbing, I think. Well, I did acting for a while. That's yeah, before, I know. Yeah. Before I did uh, did radio, and I went I to mean, radio because I figured I did okay. I was going to do okay in radio, and then if I did well <clears> enough, <throat> somebody had asked me to act. Uh, and it, really? never, it never happened. Oh. <laughs> you know? she's, she's doing plays that they did. This is a second one that they're doing. And uh, she has three roles in it. And one of the roles is a screaming woman. That's the title <laughs> of the roles. Oh, yeah. Those are fun. S scream, a screaming How many times woman. have you played the screaming woman, Ray? Once. <laughs> in, in, a, in a musical called uh, Angry Housewives. Really? Yes. I, 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 I had to dress as a woman and sing rock and roll and scream and jump around in circles. Where is that background? Oh, that that's Transamerica, but that's San Francisco. No, no. So where's your woman background yeah. view? <laughs> where's the, oh, the back, oh, I, that's so old. I think that was like digital cameras just came out. Uh, I have pictures, but they all, they'd be all grainy. By the way, I've just learned something over the last week. And I know that at my age, it's a terrible lesson to learn. But I learned it. Never buy anything four weeks before Christmas. <laughs> because if you buy it a week before Christmas, the price drops precipitously. That's what I've done. <laughs> like, you know, the green screen cheap. I've got here yeah. co cost me 169 bucks. You know how yeah, much that's what is, I paid. You know how much it costs now? I don't want to know. 119 <laughs> What? Yes. I bought a cheapo that was like 120 bucks, and it was a piece of junk. So I, did, I sent it back and bought this one, like you have. Well, well I bought these two Mac Minis from yeah. Costco because their price was thirty dollars less than at Apple, and then they did a hundred dollars off because it was Christmas. Ah, so I got the thing for a little over five hundred dollars, right? So all of a sudden I'm learning my lesson, and there's somebody something else I bought. I paid more than I should have. Okay. The computer you got from Phil? No, no, no. <laughs> no. So anyway, so I mean, you know, I really am. I'm very. Uh, uh, I, I've learned my lesson. Wait, over at uh, you were asking me earlier about the monitor I bought. This LG 32 inch. Uh, high oh, high res monitor. It's the high. Is it the high res one? Yeah. Yeah. It's not the. Uh, it's not the 1080 by, whatever by nine by by eighteen something. It's I, the bigger one. The twenty four something by seventy nine. Huh? <laughs> I just saw them at Costco for one hundred and seventy nine dollars. Uh, no, they, they they are exactly. Uh, let's see here. They're, no, they're, no, they're actually 199 bucks. Very nice. I have a monitor that's for photography. It costs a ton of money. But the, the, it's incredible. It looks amazing. When I see it next to my other monitor, which is actually good, too, it blows it away. Yeah. But I spent like 800 bucks for it. Yeah, but I'm beginning to feel like this old Jew, though, because I'm bu buying these big-ass monitors now. I'm buying 32 inches now. <laughs> Why? Well, because I can see him better, you yeah. know. So, except I, it's hard to turn your neck. <clears throat> you know, uh, well, in, in the in the guest room, I have two thirty-two inch monitors now. Wow. One wow. of which it doesn't have the higher resolution, but uh, why don't you, know. you just get one seventy-inch one for the bedroom? <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it would make sense. If, if the price gets below a dollar, I'll send you one. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I d never buy anything. Never go out and buy anything now. I mean, look, the green screen. 119 bucks. I can't believe that. It's Damn 50 it. bucks less than it used to be. From that, like did, did you get an Elgato? Yes, because yeah, it's the best. That 119 bucks. Maybe I'll buy it because I, I kind of want to be able to overlap them and have more. <laughs> I'm actually, serious. It's actually, not wide enough. <laughs> actually, you can buy wider. You can buy wider ones. And I want one taller too. But not from Elgato. Oh. Uh, um, the, but uh, the, the other companies were selling exactly the same thing with their own name on it. 
exactly the same thing. But I'll tell like you, I ordered cheaper. one of those other ones, and it's a it was garbage. I mean, it was like making noise when you pull it out. And it, no, and but the I, Elgato was so much better. But I looked at the other ones, and some of them oh, were okay. just like the Elgato. Oh, yeah. all, right. all right. I don't think Elgato makes their own. I don't know, but it's the highest quality. It's a high quality. Are you though. folks out there enjoying this? Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Elgato, Spanish for the cat or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They do, they do pretty good equipment, though. The switcher I use here on the show that makes me go back and forth between stuff like uh, this, folks. See, I can go like that. And I can go back to these guys. Well, it's all a little unit down here that they make called the Stream Deck. Oh, that's how you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. It's so much better when you can do stuff with hardware like that than software. Well, the software the software will mess up. The so, no, the software does it, but what it oh, does I is see. it keys the software. But it, but at least there's a hardware component yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. There's a button. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Your <clears throat> green screen is like a projector screen that you lift up before you get on. The yeah, screen. in the old days, this you one put, is. you used to put this up, and then they would show you like. Uh, some thing in your school, like on uh, venereal disease or something, you know. <laughs> Didn't you love it when they used to bring in the day you'd go in yeah. to the classroom and the projector was up? None of you remember this, do you? Yes, I do. The yes, projector do. was yeah. there and the screen. Yes. And you knew that your hour was going to be watching a film and that was okay because you didn't have to listen to your fucking teacher. Yes, I, I got in trouble in junior high. They set it up, and I, we had a female teacher doing sex education, and she said, "You know, this is herpes. Can anybody guess what type of herpes?" And I said, "Is that a picture of you, Miss Jones?" And she wasn't happy with that answer. Right. Mm. But anyway, so I mean, it was a wonderful. Uh, 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 oh, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I think I think we have a special visitor here. I believe we have a special oh, visitor here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Santa himself. Hi, Santa. How you doing this Christmas? <laughs> Pretty pissed off. The Niners lost. <laughs> I, I saw. They lost. <laughs> yeah. I saw they, were, they, came, they came back. You know They're that playing movie. today? On yeah. Wednesday? On that oh, Amazon, that beard is Thursday. over ninety nine right now. <laughs> Thursday night football, yeah. This is hilarious. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Bad Santa. Kids, if you're watching this right now, Santa has become an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, uh, are you getting ready, Santa? Does it look like it? Oh, wait a minute. Come on in. Adrian. Oh, by the way, by the way, Kevin, oh, Brian, before we go, Brian. Let me hide the booze. I got to. I said, say hi to Santa. She says, no. Where's Adrian? Does she know? Does she, does she, she knows already there's no Santa, right? Who? No. Oh, get Adrian. Well, she Go thinks there is a Sam. I got, I got to talk to her. Oh, well, then bring her in. Bring her in. He's only six. God. She's going to know it's... No, just please play along with it. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't shatter her world. Well, well she's going to pretend to. I mean, God, too, knows, so God okay. knows she's got enough time in life to be disillusioned. Okay? Yeah, that's true. You know. Living in He's probably going to bring her in kicking and screaming. <laughs> What's wrong with San Jose? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm old man. You and I both live about the same distance. I know, that's so what I was wondering. <laughs> no, nothing. Well, I guess Brian wasn't able to get her to come in. She says it's fake. Oh, <laughs> don't her come pull on my beard. Does she know? She doesn't. You know. I don't know. You know, kids talk. So Let me ask you this, uh, Santa. <laughs> When you were working the job, okay. How many kids would pull on your beard? Oh, all kinds. I don't know how many. Yeah, I mean, was it yeah. with? Yeah, and oh, did, yeah. did they pull it really hard? Yeah. <laughs> they they were testing me all the time. Yeah, yeah. and they they figured you were authentic once they couldn't pull it off, right? 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. The young ones. God, yeah. You never the know. older ones said, oh, shit, you know. It's real. What's Some the, of them would go, oh, shit. <laughs> what's the oldest kid you ever had come sit on your lap? Donald Trump, two years uh, ago. She was about 32. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And we talk about the first thing that popped up, too. Yeah. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> But uh -huh. you, know, you know, when my son was in kindergarten, they had Santa Claus come in, and it was this skinny guy who looked like he borrowed the Santa Claus costume from a regular size Santa Claus, and it was sagging off him. And he had a ponytail behind the wig down, and, uh, and, you, and, it, and his beard was over like a yellow beard that you could see underneath. And after that, my son never believed in Santa anymore. Have yeah. another drink, Santa. Yeah. They, uh, <laughs> <what happens? laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite uh, movies I, 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 um, I had I had a neighbor next door his kid was acting up and I was coming back from doing a, a oh. job a couple of a uh, couple of Christmas years ago some lady called and said she wanted me to hand out gifts to a bunch of Mexicans at a um, um, some hall downtown or something she needed somebody right away Mixing. Christmas Eve after dinner, I went over there for an hour and collected her 200 bucks and walked home, you know, drove home. And uh, the kid next door was acting up, and I was walking in the house. And, and her, his dad says, look, there's Santa. And I came over there, and I, I looked at him, and I said, you better act up, and you better not act up. I'm not going to come to your house tonight. And he looked at me, and he, you know, he's, shit, I think he was three years old or whatever. He had the look <laughs> of fear of God in his head. Really? Yeah, it was pretty funny. Wow. I said, I'm not coming to your house if you don't, you don't, eat shit and bricks. He went in the house, shut up. The dad said he was great. I got to get drunk last night. <laughs> A whole bit. He <laughs> said he was great the whole night. Hmm. Did, yeah. I, did, how many people? It does, uh, some of these kids, it really hits them. It's pretty funny. How many people, how many people here when they were kids were told there was a Santa? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right, because I would, my parents would never say there was a Santa. They just, you know. See, my kid doesn't doesn't do that either. He doesn't tell their kids that there's a Santa. So I can't even mess with my grandkids. That's because we were, when kind we of were kids, Alex, we were spinning dreidels and stuff. When I wasn't spinning dreidels. <laughs> How boring. Yeah. Hanukkah's boring. What do you mean Hanukkah's boring? Well, well it's, it's not as now fun that, as now that you he, Now that you mention it, it actually night. is. What? <laughs> what were you saying, uh, uh, Alan? You get a gift every night. All eight nights, you get a gift. But it's something really cheesy and cheap. Yeah, it's like it? here's an orange. <laughs> you know, here's a grapefruit. Here's a walnut. <laughs> Happy fourth day. What? When do the good presents start coming? The last night they'll give you a good present. You know. Uh, I always get screwed on presents when because Hanukkah and my birthday kind of coincide. Oh, I never had a problem that way. I was a spoiled kid. I was. Were you? Are you? You weren't an only child, right? No, I got a sister. See, I was an only child, and when my when my it was my and you two, uh, uh, Brian, then you'll yeah. agree with this that when it was your birthday, man, they threw everything at you. They went out and bought you tons of toys, and then when it was Christmas a week later, more toys. Not for yeah, me. my birthday's in November, so I get the uh, bam bam, you know. Oh, but that's no big deal. My birthday's three days after Christmas. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. When's your Brian? When's your birthday, Brian? Mine's on November eighth. Oh, mine's the ninth. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ah. Uh, uh, Santa. What am I like? Thirty years older than you? S Santa, you were <laughs> kind of looking like you took a swig of that booze, and it was pretty harsh. Yeah, I think this bottle's been sitting around a while. What is it? It's uh, 5150 tequila. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Now, why is it, why is it uh, colored amber color? Is it... It's a gold tequila. I think this is Kid Rock stuff. <laughs> he makes it. It's Resposado. Oh, okay. He made, uh, he made some tequila down here in uh, Hollister, I guess, so... uh, many years ago, and then came down here and made a, a white... A, a, Resposado and some other stuff. Yeah. And uh, we bought a three pack of it. 
So just to, just to the people that don't live in California, fifty-one fifty is a is a uh, that means you're crazy, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's the code for fifty-one fifty on the. You do it's, harm it's to not, yourself or others. It's not a penal code. It's a health care code, health yeah. and institutions code, and it means that if somebody's acting crazy, the police or a, a psychiatrist can take you in, in for observation for up to seventy-two hours. So anyway, let's all feel sorry for Kevin because uh, this is the only gig he could get this year. Yeah. You know, and I got on Gabnet, yeah. So that's nothing. Check is in the mail. Yeah, yeah. check's in the mail. I'll tell yes, you sir. something. You naturally make a great Santa. I mean, you don't have oh, to do much. You, know, you all you put is you put the glasses on, right? And the, What's and that? the you, just, you put the glasses on and the schmata, right? The uh, the yep. Santa suit. I got no pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to suggest you went and got a kid, go get a kid in the neighborhood, but if you don't have any pants on, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> you know, the Me Too movement is not going to like you if you're acting up that way, Santa. Yeah, well, come, yeah. come get me up at the North Pole then. Yeah, yeah. Come to come, go climb on my North Pole. Yeah, yeah I got your North Pole right here, kid. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you ever get? Did you ever get, like get together? Did you have like a? Did you like have a Santa union or anything like that? Oh, what's that? Did you have a Santa union at all? There is one, <laughs> I think. There, there is one, but you don't belong to it. No, no, I, okay. I'm, I'm independent. It's a guild. <clears throat> it's it's yeah. a, don't elves belong to guilds? I mean, lollipop. Huh? What? Yeah, isn't the uh, Santa Claus get a uh, union um, ran by the Hell's Angels? They all got the beards, right? No. Oh, cut it out. Be nice. Be good. Any, any, any of you want to ask Santa a question, Charlie? No. <laughs> I'm an atheist. So. An, oh wow! Wait a minute. Is Santa part of any religion? No. 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 But I'm a non-believer. You're a non-believer. Well, I'm, you know, I'm Jewish. I'm watching so. X-Files too much. Yeah, so I don't watch shit. I, 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 was never, I was never big into Santa when I was a kid because my parents told me uh, that uh, they, it doesn't, he doesn't exist. You Santa, know? Santa, do you and Mrs. Claus still get it on? <laughs> <laughs> I get Viagra in my stocking every, week, every year, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got your stocking right here. That's right. Yeah. Listen, I want to wish you all a very happy Merry Christmas uh, coming up. I, if that's the holiday you celebrate, but you know, Happy they Holiday. Say, we Jews, what we send out is Happy Holiday greetings. Yes. Okay. Happy holiday. And and so a Happy Holiday to all of you. And I and, and I won't be seeing you for the new year, before the new year is up. So uh, uh, have yourself a very nice new year. And I, you know, I really want to thank you guys for being part of this. Uh, you've all been loyal and, and uh, um, have cared about what I do here, and I, I really appreciate that, now, especially uh, the people who are constantly like Charlie. All of you are the regulars. Josh, uh, Jeff, Jeff. Oh Jeff, they're giving Thank away free money. Ah, Thank you I'll too, Jeff. Thousand. Thank you too, Jeff. He's not on mute. Sorry, guys. Yeah. And uh, thank you, uh, uh, Alan. And thanks to uh, Brian. Brian, have a good trip to Vegas. Uh, Ray, thank you for being here tonight and you all bet. the times you are here. And, of course, Kevin, or as we know him tonight, Santa Claus. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you as well. And we'll say good night to you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just uh, get rid of the... Uh, uh, the, the citizen panel here and we want you all to have a very happy new year we're off for uh, a week we will be back on here with the uh with the uh, ramble on the 5th of january but we'll be back next monday uh for uh at four o'clock for the uh, monday show the pop-up show and we'll be doing the pop-up show again on the uh, on the third as well uh and then we'll be back here on the fifth Anyway, have, have a really nice uh, New Year's. We'll have some Christmas programming tomorrow night and over the week programming here on GabNet. And 
We'll see you right back here the first week in uh, January. In the meantime, as always, you know, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please, if you haven't done so already, I want you to wear a mask or I want you to, like, you know, get the vaccination. Have a happy holiday season, everybody. See you later. Bye.